I've been involved with, uh, with Alpha Project in CASA for this whole 12 years anyhow. But uh, we recently uh, started a uh, homeless outreach program where we go under the bridges and in the bush and we invite people to come in and change their life. The men that we find, sometimes we get them in the CASA, sometimes we get them to another agency. But it's, uh, it's all God's work and that's what we do. I'm a, I work for a landscaper named Diggity Dog and I've been working there for a little over a year now and it's a really good job. My boss is really good. Um, he really like wants to help me and stuff and at the end of this year I should be getting my contractor's license for landscaping and so I'm pretty much learning a new trade and starting all over my whole life. My family, they're still kind of lost out there and stuff but um, you know, I keep in touch with them and try to be like the positive role model and show them that there's hope and that they can do it. Uh, I work for s and Contracting. I'm a framer. I build San Diego. And uh, I love my job because uh, I can build something, come back and look at it later on and say, I, you know, I helped build that. You know, and I leave my mark, my kind of ripple in the ocean, you know what I mean? I work at Bob Baker Chrysler Jeep in uh, Carlsbad and I've been working there for 10 years. Um, I started off as a as a washing cars on the weekend and now I'm a manager and I buy cars for them at the auction. So I've uh, come a long way working there. I own a house now. I own two cars. I mean, I've, I'm living a productive life and it's all because of Casa Rafael. I work for a company called Escondido Sand and Gravel and I'm a laborer. And I started from the bottom and that's basically where I'm at still. But I'm able to do this work this whole sobriety is a gift, you know. When you always take and take and take, and then you're actually able to give, you know. Those are gifts that I get every day. And I enjoy it. Uh, I work for a DMS service, uh, janitorial services, and, and I'm doing uh, janitorial maintenance in uh, Encinitas. So, and I, and I like my job, you know. I'm working in a small lumber yard here in the local area and it's working out real well. I've been there about three years. I'm blessed more than I deserve right now because of sobriety and what it's done for me. Um, I have my daughter back in my life. The thing about this is all about service and that's where I'm at. I spend a lot of time with, working with guys and, and someday I hope to be employed by Cosmo. I'm employed, currently employed at uh, Walmart. I'm uh, overnight maintenance. I clean and shine the floors. My floors are number one in the district. And my primary purpose today is to, to find people that were in my situation or are about to go into my situation. And I, I actually get, uh, I get pleasure from helping somebody out that, that's, that's going down my path or could go down my path. Um, I work at Jerome's Furniture. I'm a warehouseman. It's good work. Get a lot of good customers. Help a lot of people. I work for uh, Brown Bag Sandwich Company up in Orange County and I deliver sandwiches on uh, Camp Pendleton. And then I get to work with some of my sponsees at CASA, so it, you know, it provides a lot of time for that stuff. I work for Rancho Del Oro Towing now. I'm the accountant for the company. Uh, I've gotten so many things out of being sober. I hadn't, I hadn't been to my mother's house in 17 years. And two and a half years ago I went to her house and I spent a week with her. and. Turned out to be a good thing because she died a little bit over four months ago and I wouldn't have had that opportunity if I hadn't been clean and sober and if it hadn't been for, for the people at CASA and the experiences that I've had here. I'm the phase one uh, working supervisor. Um, the guys who go out and sell papers and stuff, I help them along their way through uh, first phase and stuff. And I've been there six months and um, it's the first job I've had in seven years. The biggest uh, addition to my family, you know, is I got a cat. I did, um, you know, she's a, she's a cool cat, she keeps me company, you know, and uh, you know, I just keep doing what I'm doing, you know, I go home and I got a routine, I go to my meetings at night and come by and see the fellas in the daytime, and uh, I just keep doing what, what I was taught.